Millions of farmers around the world rely on information from the Agricultural Research Service of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. But Helena Botmiller Evich of Politico has revealed the Trump administration's Agriculture Department has systematically repressed studies from the key research division warning of the dangers of climate change. As a result, the world's leading expert is silent on the singular issue its own experts consider the gravest threat to food production. Helen Botmeyer Evich has won the Environmental Reporting Award. Hi, my name is Helena Bottomiller Evich. I'm a reporter at Politico and I cover agriculture. Uh, thank you so much to the Polk Committee for this incredible honor. I am delighted to accept it on behalf of myself and so many people at Politico that made this series of stories possible. Uh, really, it all started when I was driving home from visiting my grandma in western Pennsylvania. I had some time to kill and I decided to call uh, a source that I hadn't talked to in a couple of years and check in. Uh, this source was a scientist who mentioned that they had uh, recently done a project with a scientist at the Department of Agriculture and they mentioned that department officials had gone out of their way to dissuade coverage of and promotion of the study and also that they mentioned that other scientists within USDA um, were pretty frustrated uh, in the study pertained to climate change. So this obviously perked up my ears. I thought, you know, I'm going to ask around about this. At this point, we hadn't really heard much about um, any sort of climate suppression going on at USDA. It had been considered much different than what was going on at places like EPA and Interior. So that one tip led us on almost a year of stories. Uh, I thought initially it would just be a one-off story um, in the beginning, but one thing led to another and there was so much to tell. It was ended up being a much bigger story and much bigger series. Uh, I really wanna thank Carrie Budoff Brown, our wonderful editor at Politico, uh, for encouraging me to take all the time I needed to do this story, to really go for it. You know, she pulled me aside and really said, I think you have something, just go for it. I would have, you know, I'm a busy beat reporter, I would have just probably done a story or two and just moved on. So I really thank her for that vision and commitment. Uh, so much gratitude also to Peter Canellis, the wonderful, wonderful editor um, on this series. He guided me through a lot of reporting questions and strategy to get this done right. I also want to thank Patterson Clark um, from our data point team. He did the graphics and all the reporting uh, on the data side to really um, visualize what was going on there and also really paint the picture for the reader of just how much um, things have changed at USDA. I also of course have to thank Scott Mahaskey, our fabulous photographer. Um, he and I actually went to Iowa and Missouri and Nebraska and got in a, you know, a big pickup truck and drove these washed out roads. Luckily he got us out of being stuck in many, many deep uh, ruts and, and you know potholes in the road. So uh, he was really an intrepid partner in telling this story visually as well. So thanks so much to so many at Politico, so many on the production side as well, who made this possible. And thank you again for this award. I'm truly humbled um, to accept it. Thank you.